Hey everybody, before you continue watching the video, make sure you give the channel a like and subscribe. Go and follow us on um, Instagram. Go and check out all the different social media um, scenarios. Make sure if you're enjoying the content, go there, like, subscribe, follow, so we can keep putting stuff out. If you've got any questions, leave a comment. All right, make a comment on either of our pages and we'll answer them as soon as we can. After that, you know yeah, what I mean? Okay. Like I almost cut my 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 you know drive. my drive. But now, doing that thing for 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 jujitsu, yeah. right. you know, like I was this is inspire me again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. it's interesting. Like just to have that fire started to come up again. You know, uh, because man, you giving you giving people resilience. You giving yeah. confidence. You giving like you a healthier half style community. There's so many benefits, you know, yeah. I was the living proof of this benefit, you know, like I didn't, there was not a, a, a negative in this process. You know what I mean? I yeah. didn't observe any negative in this process. So in doing jujitsu or in, in doing jiu -jitsu. Yeah. so for me, it's easy to sell what I actually living proof that man, there was a lot of benefits. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, for sure. And now even like, you know, like many years later, I use a lot of the knowledge that I got from Jiu Jitsu to applying other things that I do in my life. Yeah, hundred percent. I think most of the people that we've had on here are the same. Like they've learned so much doing Jiu Jitsu. They're so grateful, and most of them just like oh, I wish I learned this when I was ten years old, not when I was thirty five or twenty eight or whatever. So, no, it definitely is um, a life changing, like a turning point in people's lives that they they start Jiu Jitsu and then that journey continues. If they stay and do it. And you, you were somebody that stayed and did it and kind of like s just continued going and, and doing that type of thing. So the next kind of like part of your journey is like after you started working for them, were you still kind of like doing jiu-jitsu at the time while you were doing the advertising or you stopped off a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I always did jiu-jitsu. Um, I always did jiu-jitsu. Um, I remember my coach said something that I do say to people nowadays. He said, look, Unless you're sick or injured, in your worst, worst weeks, a term like you're busy at work or busy with family or other things, come twice a week. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Which is kind of like maintenance, you know? Yeah. And that's a really good thing. So I, I had a moment where I was training like three times a week, twice, maybe a week, and then having a swim and, or a fitness guy. There was a time where I was like, I could be going to competition more serious. Like mm -hmm. there was a lot of people that want me to do that, but I didn't. There was another, uh, there was many distractions for <laughs> me, like a lot of distractions actually. Yeah. Um, wow. And there was also the, the working and making money and yeah. help. So and there was just, there was zero money. Like yeah. there was, there was actually opposite. You have to spend everything. Right. So um, at the time for me, it was like, I, I didn't do it. Like there was a lot of people. There was a lot of people. People actually annoy me so much to do it that I did a couple of times, and then I would do okay. And then people go, "Man, you, you have to go to this one. Yeah, yeah. Now you can't miss that one. No, no, no. I'll, I'll get someone to do your physical preparation." I remember before I stopped like going doing these things. Like there was a, a guy doing like I don't know whoever was paying, but there was a guy PT. doing my physical yeah. Yeah, preparation and and stretching and nutritionist. That was that was good, you know. But um, yeah, so I actually, I learned, which I think is interesting right now, because I actually learned uh, to observe, because I, I spa and I help a lot of people in my gym, and I'm very proud of them, and I, I did it, I would do it everything again, to help them to go in that path. Yeah. Didn't want it, but I was so happy they were doing, and they made my train better, and, and I observe a lot on what they actually what they what they actually need to uh, abstain to actually go to that path what they have the characteristics they must have yeah. what are the things that they have to go oh, look i can't do that if i'm gonna go here hard you know and i think this was very interesting like to be very close to it but always observing from the outside not from doing the outside it and observing and helping 
that that's an interesting point like because that happens with a lot of scenarios like when you're inside whatever you're experiencing whether it's trained to be a competitor relationship issue business problem whatever while you're inside it you can, you because you're affected by emotion because we're human being and it's not possible to just like be completely logical all the time and be like oh i should do this decision this is the best option you you you, you don't see clearly but people that are like around it or next to it always have a clearer vision because they're not actually affected by it because it's not happening to them or they're not inside the actual, you know, the circumstance. So that's a really interesting point, man. I trust that a lot into that. Even nowadays, I have close friends that I trust that that uh, that uh, thought process and, you know, what I mean, and I know they want the best for me that sometimes I will actually ask their opinion. Yeah, and you know, knowing that I'll filter, but I'll take their opinion on board because they seem from the outside. And some people do that with me too, you know. Yeah, I, I, I totally see the value. But it's interesting, like, um, like even the guys that are good competitors, a lot of the time they're not great coaches or they're not great like, um, teachers or whatever, because they're just with, with the ones doing the thing or performing the thing, and they don't have that propensity to actually recognize, like, wait a second. Uh, these are the characteristics, these are the things that have to be done to achieve that. Because you're talking about competing and you were around a lot of guys that were competing and training to compete and stuff like that. And it kind of gives you like a different view on stuff that you can see that will indicate that that person or these individuals are going or doing the right things to achieve what they want to achieve if they want to be a competitor in jiu-jitsu. So that's an interesting point that you can apply, you know, anywhere, man. You can apply it in business, you can apply it in relationships, whatever. Thanks for watching the video guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe and a follow. Check out all our different social media platforms. There's heaps of content coming out. There's different snippets and content on different, on different platforms. So make sure you're on everything. And again, if it helped you out, recommend to somebody else and hopefully it'll help them out too.